What's up everyone and welcome back to the place where dreams come true. Secret bases have been officially confirmed to return in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I can't honestly say this news is a huge surprise as it was one of the coolest features exclusive to the original games, but it is nonetheless amazing news that they were finally confirmed to return and not just as secret bases, but SUPER SECRET BASES. What exactly makes Secret Bases so super in these remakes? Let's find out in this video. Though I'm sure by now you probably know since I'm kinda late with these news. Again. But a lot of you actually asked me about my opinion on the return of these base bases, so let's do it. First and foremost, Super Secret Bases will have online connectivity, which I am really, really excited for because I always like to show off my secret base in Emerald when I was a kid to all my friends, and now I can do it online to everyone. Best of all is the process will be super simple, as you can do it with a QR code, just like you share characters in Tomodachi Life. I'm gonna try super hard to pimp out my base like the good old days and share it with you guys and I look forward to checking out your secret bases, especially with all the new swag you can set yourself up with. A picture's worth a thousand words, someone once said. So just look at some of these screenshots where we can get a glimpse of the awesome and crazy stuff you'll be able to decorate your super secret base with. Decorations aren't the only thing you can share in your base though, your friends can appear in them too in a new feature called Secret Pals. If you find a secret base you like, you can request to become Super Best Friend Secret Pals with the owner of that base. Then a little clone of his character will come chill out in your base so that other visitors can chat and battle with. The website also states that Secret Pals will be able to use special powers to help you on your own journey, which I'm assuming will be the new version of O-Powers returning from X and Y. The real power of Super Secret Bases though, comes when you combine the new decorations with your Secret Pals to create your very own Pokemon Gym. This looks absolutely bonkers! There are so many kinds of little decorations that you can place to make puzzles and obstacles and turn your super secret base into the best Pokemon gym you could think of. I personally can finally realize my lifelong dream of becoming a real gym leader and I hope you'll all come challenge my gym. But let's be honest, it's probably gonna be a joke. Here's a look at some more random screenshots while I go over a few final features like the return of the Capture the Flag game from Diamond and Pearl's cheap secret base knockoffs. I didn't mess around much with this back then, but it looks like when you visit another person's base, you can grab the flag there and improve your base ranking to get more rewards for your own base. I like to think that these flags will kind of be the gym badges of those that choose to make base gyms and it'll make going through these much more rewarding or have a more concrete reward than just saying, hey, I beat this guy's gym. One thing that I think will be really cool for the YouTube Pokemon community is actually getting to make our own gyms and having you guys challenge them as well as us challenging other YouTubers gyms. I just think there's so much room for connectivity here and I'm really excited that they actually are finally pushing these online features. Last but not least, there is this crazy man here named Arune who is known as the secret base expert and he will teach you all about secret bases in the games. This probably means he's the guy who gives you secret power in Route 111 in the original games and will play a bit more of an important role here in the remakes as you even get to battle him and his majestic Flygon. With all of these exciting new features coming to secret bases, or sorry, SUPER SECRET BASES, I can't help but feel that super character customization will also be coming. I just feel like this idea of being able to make your bases into gyms is super cool and definitely a step in the right direction, but if every secret base gym leader ends up looking like May or Brendan, it might get boring after a while. Even if we just get regular customization to our trainer like we had in X and Y, I'll still be super happy, so cross your fingers everybody, character customization here we go! Anyway that is going to wrap up this news update video thing. 
I guess I'm not creative enough to come up with a name for these types of videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really excited for this feature. It was a bit on the shorter side because really it wasn't that much news. It's just one new feature, but it is definitely enough to hold us over and keep that hype coming until the games come out, which is actually really close now. Summer, I feel like, is already halfway done, and just after that, it's going to be a couple of months, and the games will already be here. So if you are excited for the release of these games and to challenge all of these gyms and make your own pimped out super swag secret bases like I am, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more news as they come out. By the way, earlier in the video, I showed off this little trainer character guy that I have actually been working on for the past few days. I've been really getting back into drawing, and it's actually been really fun. I made that into a wallpaper, so for those of you that have been longtime viewers, here's a little thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos. I will put that link down in the description. You can download that wallpaper in full Super 1080p HD or something so if you want to download that go ahead and do so and again thank you so much for sticking with my channel for so long thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all next time